Make sure that she's not trying to drag you back forward. That's better. Yeah, that's good. And now we'll go back up to the rising trot again. Yeah. Much better answer from her. She hates it. Okay, one more halt on this long wall. Really straight, heavy, plant that feet down. Yeah. Yeah, this is way better. And then back up to the posting trot. And then we're going to do a short diagonal line from about letter M to where I am and change direction in the trot. So a little check release in your turn. Look up, look across towards me. Very nice, smooth turn. <clears throat> We're going to ride her out onto the track this way, and you're going to do a halt just before the mounting block while you're straight still from the trot. So sitting. And whoa. Good. And back up to the trot. Hands low and together, right hand low, very nice, good, little scoop with your left hand just to get her to look a little bit to the left, that's it, little leg on, trot on, very good. In the letter C short end, we're going to ask her for a left lead canter. <clears throat> Good. Looking through your turn. And when she gets fussy, you're going to just ask her to go a little bit forward into your right. Right hand, hey, both hands stay low and a little bit forward. That's it. That way it'll be not, you won't lose your rein quite so much then because you won't, we don't want to have too much tension on it in the canter. Good. Okay, transition back to posting trot. Stretching up, take your time. Good, circle up there, 20 meters. Keep trotting. She thinks that after she canters, she gets to, gets to walk. Well, too bad, bad news, you don't get to, not today. Good, keep this trot. She's not allowed to back off in the trot rhythm. And you can see the more forward we get her going, the less fussy she is with her head. She'll always be a little fussy with her head because she always has been. But anytime you have an issue like that, you want to ride your horse forward. Okay, we're going to go straight ahead after letter C. And wherever you have a good spot, we're going to change direction in the trot. So you can do a little diagonal line or a half turn reverse. I don't have letters to tell you where to go. So you can just sort of decide. You can turn here and head towards the gate. <clears throat> yeah. Just you want to make sure you give your horse enough room to make a change of direction. You know, you don't want to make a really tight turn that makes it impossible for your horse to make. Yeah. going to make it fair for them. Good. Circle up there at letter C. One circle, and then the next time you get back down in that short end, we're going to ask her for a right lead canter this way, and then we're going to go straight ahead. Star's like, oh man, they put me right to work today. <laughs> Keep going. That's it. Good job. Look straight ahead. That's a girl. Very good. And if she gets too quick, you can give her a little whoa. Plan for your turn now. That's a girl. You got to plan early enough. That's all right. She swapped her lead back to trot. You got to plan early enough. Whoa. And you don't, because you don't want to get to your spot and be like, oh no, I got to turn. Because remember, your horse is long and they can't be like, oh no, I got to turn. It makes it really hard for them. Back up to canter. Good. Let's do a big circle in the middle, a 
around the poles. <clears throat> Easy. Think about your turn now. Little inside rain. Very nice. Little leg on. It's pretty common when you do those turns, you gotta add a little leg so they don't break. Very nice. Now we're gonna prepare for a trot. Let's get a clear canter first though. There you go. Now you ask for trot. And trot. We'll go posting trot on this circle. That's it, stretching up tall. Keep kind of like Kind of like when you're turning on a plane, you have to. Yeah, yeah. Very good. When you get back to the, the other long wall by the road, we're going to go straight ahead. And when you're on that long wall, you're going to ask her for a transition to the walk. <clears throat> Good. Sitting up tall, you're going to plant your bum in that saddle and walk. Good. Give her a big pat and you can let her stretch and have the reins. 